So I want to talk about government and uh, digital government. I attended a talk recently by the former president of Estonia, uh, his name went Thomas Hendrik Ilvers. Now he presided over the creation of digital government really in Estonia, um, which has seen a state issued digital ID. Everybody gets an ID card with a chip and a pin at age 15. And that then gives them access to over 4,000 government services, uh, everything from issuing uh, prescriptions to checking your medical records online, uh, setting up a business, paying taxes. And because it's so widely used, you know, that ID is now used for a tax as third party banking systems and, and e-commerce. It really um, underpins like the whole kind of the running of government in Estonia, which has seen a, a massive uptake in, in those services and, and efficiencies. I think it's something definitely we can learn from uh, in other European countries. In fact, Estonia makes its software and operating systems available uh, free of charge and, and open source. The problem in getting them adopted has actually been a lack of understanding and will uh, in other governments, and I'd probably include our own in that, in, in, in wanting to implement and effectively regulate this. And that comes down to a lack of understanding, really, uh, of, of often how technology works. Technology is ubiquitous. We're all using it every day, and we should be using it to greater effect in, in government. But it seems we have a lack of understanding, uh, whereas, uh, which comes out in chapter talk about wanting to um, ban encryption and greater regulation of kind of content on, on the internet. I think with the upswell and the recent election of, uh, of, of young voters, hopefully that's going to create more of a, a demand and a market for better kind of government digital services uh, that improve our quality of life and protect our liberties. At the same time, I think it's important that we kind of get that balance right. So um, I don't know what you think, you know, do we need uh, more government control and uh, control of our, of our digital lives or less? I'd be really interested to, to hear your thoughts.